So hi everyone, my name is uh, Matt Hager, I'm the founder and CEO of Scatter. Um, I hope you're enjoying the Mobile World Congress and particularly today's uh, Bala Developer Day. I'd like to thank Samsung for giving me the opportunity to actually talk and uh, I hope that I can give you some useful information today. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my experiences um, as a Samsung partner over the past 15 months. I've been invo uh, involved with Bada from the very beginning actually. Um, it's been a good experience. Um, we launched in December um, following the results of the World Developer Challenge and we were fortunate enough to be a category winner there. Um, I think it's a good time to get involved with the platform. I want to speak about some of the reasons why. Um, so, so my talk today is going to um, discuss Scatter and what we do. Um, then we're going to have a live demonstration. Hopefully the Wi-Fi will work. Uh, then we can pose the question, should I start developing on Bada? And then from first-hand experience, let's look at what it's like to work with Samsung as a partner in terms of development support, planning your growth, launch and distribution. Uh, and then we can look at some of the results from our perspective over the past 15 months before finishing up. So, an introduction. Okay, so an introduction to Scatter, what it is. So Scatter is actually, we call it the social street view. Um, it allows you to capture, discover, backtrack, and remember the genuine live moments that you experience. You can then share these moments publicly across the social web or within a private network, all in real time. So our service prov um, prompts you to remember this through 10 second uh, video clips or images. So what's the big deal with this? Well, there's a problem. We're sharing so much visual media in real time on Facebook and Twitter, but are we actually capturing the moment with any historical or geographical value? The result of all of this sharing of visual media in real time equals a lot of unorganized media, a lack of accuracy, causing an inability to remember. We're sharing a lot, but are we actually remembering? So we came up with a solution. In 2008, we started building the Scatter API. We have one mission, and that is to give people anywhere in the world a more accurate way to capture and discover genuine life moments. So at the moment, we're presently on Bada. In the future, we're opening our API up to any mobile browser or TV platform for creating and discovering genuine content. We launched in December, as I mentioned before, after entering the um, developer challenge. And we're now available to anybody with a Samsung Wave handset. The live moments that we capture we call scatterings, not scatterings. The reason why is because a scattering is an interconnecting ecosystem of people sharing real life experiences all over the world. Why the Z and not the S? Generation Z. In Wikipedia, it says gener anybody from Generation Z are between 0 and 13 years of age who have never known a world without the internet or a mobile device. So to sum up Scatter, it is a genuine and accurate shared experience for sharing publicly across the social web and within our search platform or within private networks, always in real time. And the problem we're solving is we're bringing Remember to the social web, less emphasis on sharing photos in real time and a brand new emphasis on aggregating and remembering real life around keywords, places, hashtags, and events. How are we going to make our money? The app is free right now, but we'll be updating with a premium version where you can download to discover new and exciting stuff. And there'll be an ad-supported web um, version where you can view content which will be monetized. We're also working with influencers with large social media reaches so that we can use Scatter for them to monetize their Twitter followers and their Facebook fans. But most importantly, we're raising funding because we want to focus on building a great service for our users. So, could you uh, move over to the video, please? And I can show you the So basically, how Scatter works is you broadcast an archive, your live moments, in real time. Basically, you install the app, power it up. You have a feed of genuine, accurate content that you capture. You click add, it grabs your location. You simply have 100 characters which you can tweet out, click broadcast, go straight to your video camera. The moment of capture is the moment it appears on live feeds. You can either capture 10 seconds of video or an instant uh, freeze frame of your life. And then you decide whether you want to publish that to the whole world or just to a private network. 
The moment of capture is what appears on the real-time feeds, not the moment of uploading. So basically, this is available now on the Samsung app, so you can download it. If you want to add scatterings, hashtag MWC11 and tweet it out, and you can aggregate your live moments as you see them. You can go to the back to the slide. So we're now going to actually try a live demonstration um, of scatter. I've already put in the fact that I'm at Mobile World Congress 11. Um, I've logged in from another account. Um, so I hide that. Click next. Anyway, I'll, I'll add it anyway. So if I click, connect to the video camera, and begin, begin streaming, you have 10 seconds. You have up to 10 seconds. Capture a moment. And then it's already got the, the live moment, and you can decide whether you want to share that publicly or into a private network or on Facebook and Twitter. So I'll tweet that one out. And basically whatever you whatever you um, Whatever your string is, 100 characters, hashtags, keywords, you are aggregating real life into our streams. So people can view them on Facebook and Twitter and go back and basically discover what's happening in real time, all through BADA. We launch exclusively on the handset. So thanks a lot. If you can go back to the slides, that would be great. So part three, um, you've seen some of the things that have been going on today. Should I start developing on BADA? It's a big question, right? So what attracted us to building a scatter client application on BARA? Well, firstly, global distribution. I mean, they do have a rapidly developing device range, as we've seen new product launches. And the fact that you've got 109 countries um, to distribute, you can pick and choose where you want to actually publish your application. And uh, at the beginning, 12 months ago, we looked at smartphones and we looked at the cost of acquisition from a user perspective. And the great thing about BARA was an excellent price point into the market, so we thought it would be great to be able to expand and distribute beyond you know, iPhone and early Android devices. And also, I would say quality, not quantity. The QA process is great, and we'll look at that in a minute. Secondly, the device capabilities. From our point of view, the AMOLED screen offers us a great display of video playback and record with a high specification camera and media player. That was good. Obviously, we looked at location, API, and street view, and the whole social integration works very well. The next reason why you might want to consider developing on BARDA is that you can be a, new, a voice in a new ecosystem. We were one of the first developers, and this actually gave us a lot of opportunities um, to build relationships within the uh, community, both within Samsung and the wider development community. Also, you're playing a part in the development of an SDK, which um, at the beginning, obviously, was, was, was growing day by day, so it was quite interesting. And the opportunity to create community is great. And because of that, you do get connected quite quickly and there's the opportunity there for visibility, marketing, PR, all the things that come out of that. Finally, the human factor. I say that because um, as a partner of Samsung, you do get an assigned account manager. Um, I don't know about you, but I like talking to human beings when I'm publishing an application. It's quite nice to be able to go through that process and work together with your account manager. So these guys are very easy to access um, and I do encourage you to find these people today as a developer. If you're serious about you know, developing on the platform, you should hunt these people down and uh, you know, show them what you're doing, be passionate about your service. Questions are always answered. I found it, I found it excellent and the QA processes are pretty, pretty good. At the end of the day, they're like a testing team for you and uh, very patient really because we occasionally missing so there's some of the major points. Um, so you get, you get to the situation where you decide you want to go for it. What next? Well, the whole process is a bit like a shared vision with Samsung. You're not kind of working in isolation on, like on other platforms. They are bringing people together to help you. Um, so some of the support that you get during the development process is, uh, for me, we've got a senior manager appointed to us. Um, and that was, that was excellent. Um, developer days like this, they, Samsung had, uh, I think, a worldwide developer roadshow, and I think they might be doing more localized events over the coming year. You've got to find the right people. 
if you don't, um, you know, hunt, hunt the right people down, put a name to a face. I remember when we were in London uh, last summer at the Developer Day, and uh, we were struggling actually with some elements of our of our, of our service, and we found Manfred, um, and, and literally put the put the application in front of him, put a name to a face. It really makes a difference to accelerate the whole experience. And you've got the premium support forums, which you know they're very good. Within an hour of issuing a request, they normally get back to you. Um, and there's community forums outside of the official barter forums um, that you can easily find. And if you want to contact me after, I can give you some links to them. Um, and then obviously the QA process that I've, I've actually mentioned. Another question that we did have um, when we were developing is that we wondered um, what Samsung's plans for the future might be. Because obviously barter's a new UOS. And, do we want to take the risk? Do we want to commit to this? Do we really want to kind of put all of our resources in as we're a startup? So how do we know what the future is going to be? Well, you can act, Samsung split their, um, their communication teams up between marketing, premium support, business development, and content and services. So you do get assigned managers uh, who are working directly with you to help you develop, you know, and gain that visibility for your application as quickly as possible. Um, so you come to the end of the development process, it's time to launch. Um, what strategies will gain maximum exposure for my application? Well, first of all, inside Samsung, there are things that you can actually do. I've said it twice before, I'm saying it again, get to know the key people at events like these and attend the local developer events as they spring up and you, you learn about these. Last year, Samsung launched a global DC, the developer challenge. Um, that was very good for a company like ours because we haven't launched, so we decided to enter. And going through the rounds gives you momentum, gets you traction, you can tweet it out and blog about it, and there's a bit of, a, bit, bit of interest in that. So that was great for us. Um, I don't know what they're going to be doing next year or the following year, but you should be looking out for stuff like this. Apply to showcase your application as well. I mean, at developing meetups, so give, you can ask to speak and demonstrate. And there's lots of different things you can do. You don't ask, you don't get, right? So, secondly, the promotion and marketing activities with Samsung. Um, for us, Samsung apps, apply for featured app status, why not? See, see, see what happens. If you're passionate about your app and it leverages some of the core features within the device, there's a good chance that you're going to have the opportunity to do that. Samsung apps have a Facebook fan page and a Twitter, Twitter account. You know, they'll, they'll feature it, they'll tweet it out, you can, you can get a bit of activity there. And uh, also, try and hook up with the batter evangelists and get featured on their newsletters, because again, it's all, it's all good stuff. It's not just Samsung that can help you out, there's stuff that you can do too. Um, for example, when you, when you launch your app, price competitively. For us, we launched free, um, just because we wanted to get a little idea of what was going on and how people were you know, getting to grips with the thing. Why not? Have a free period. No, if you tell people when the free period is going to end, they're going to download it just for the sake of it. So do it. Unofficial community forums. There's plenty of those. You can create your own community. I mean, that's one of the things we did. We saw an opportunity to start blogging and tweeting about Bardo, and you know, there's a lot of things you can do. If you build it, they will come. So what happened to us? Well, in, to in November 2009, we attended a, a launch of a mobile device. This was pre barter we were invited to become a part of the Scatter. Um, the global launch of Barter was in London, um, and we then committed to building on the platform. We got introduced to all the key people, which was very beneficial for us. And then the following year, um, we attended the launch of Samsung Wave for the Mobile Congress last year. So on the back of that, we began building. As I said, in the summer, we attended a London Developer Day, which really helped us with our development we had a few challenges and that really helped us a lot. Um, and that coincided with hearing about the World Developer Challenge, which we, which we decided to enter. Um, off the back of that, we were invited to unveil Scatter IFA in Berlin, which was a fantastic opportunity. And, you know, this could happen to anybody. It was just, you know, the, the fact that we, we were doing something interesting with location and media. And, you know, it looked like a good way for Samsung to leverage, to show how an app can leverage some of the device features. So. That's what we were asked to attend there, and that was fantastic for us. And there's other things that you can get involved in, like CTIA, um, speaking at developer meetups, um, and stuff like con and conference panels, where we were, we, were, we were chosen to case study what, it, what it's like for a small startup to work with a large corporation like Samsung. So 
we, the results of the challenge were, um, uh, were uh, announced in December. Um, we were managed to become a category winner. We got featured on uh, Facebook and Twitter and, and on Samsung apps. And uh, here we are today at Mobile World Congress with 20,000 active users of our service. Now, there's no reason why anybody can't do exactly the same as this. It's just, you know, a few tips for you. Find the right people within Samsung. Definitely, it's very important. Be passionate about your service. Um, try and generate awareness yourself, not just expect that you're going to launch the app and loads of people are going to download it. It's going to be great. Try and do something yourself. You, know, you can be very resourceful now with social media. Um, get connected within the development community and offer yourself up as a case study, perhaps. But most importantly, I think, plan and execute well. Samsung will want to win, you want to win. Work together on the roadmap, plan and execute well. So the future for BADA, we all want to know that. Where is BADA heading? Well, we've learned a lot about that today. A lot of new devices are being shipped and a lot of carrier deals in new territories are being confirmed. Um, new product launches, your, your guess is as good as mine, but for me personally, I'd love to see BADA extend beyond the handset. See what we can do with tablets and TV. That's one for the future. So if you want to contact me, you can contact me on Twitter at Matt Hager or at Scala for the company. Um, I hope you download the application. My email is Matt at Scala. Thanks for listening. Keep believing. Cheers.